Hi, welcome back. I'm Chris Trainer, Penetration Tester at Black Hills Information Security, and I'm going to be showing you an EXIF Tool Scanner Burp Extension. If you haven't seen the other videos, there will be links for that uh, above my head, maybe to the left over my shoulder, somewhere in the description, something like that that will link you to the other videos talking about other Burp extensions. We've also covered what a Burp extension is in general, how to install it, what the App Store looks like things like that. So definitely visit the other videos uh, and check them out. For this video, we're going to be talking about the Burp extension EXIF tool scanner. Now, EXIF tool, for those that are security practitioners already, you may kind of hear some bells and, and uh, flags going up in your head. That sounds very familiar. That sounds like EXIF tool, the command, right? From the, from the command line. And it is. What the EXIF tool scanner aims to do is take the EXIF tool itself from the command line and make it a passive analysis through for web application and API pen testing. So Burp is basically doing this. Show you what the EXIF tool looks like as a command on the command line, right? This is a GIF that I have on my local VM here. It's got a bunch of metadata that exposes it, that's been exposed from running the XF tool, and it's displaying all that out for us. So if you ever hear news articles where they say, well, we knew where the image was taken or the time the image was taken because we looked at the metadata on the image, XF tool helps expose what that metadata is. And in here, a little, little hint here for meta and metadata, check out season two, episode five of Community. It's definitely one of my favorites. And to give you a little, little hint on there, you've got that's, that is totally meta, Troy Barnes. So this information of meta, metadata inside of files is something that we are going to try to expose in an automated fashion using the Burp extension here. Exif tool scanner in the BAP store. Again, reads the metadata from various file types. This is an extension that has very low system impact, similar to other ones that we've talked about. Uh, there's a link for the source material. And you have a reinstall button here because I already have it pre-installed. You would just click that and say install if you haven't done this yet. And that will just automatically install and load up the tool. Now, XF tool will start you out by setting up a new tab in your Burp UI. And it give you some of these configurations. We're not going to touch any of these right now. We leave them all as default just to show you the purpose of XF tool and what it can do. So over on the left-hand side, I have a Docker deployed local instance of OWASP Juice Shop. Over on the left here, I have my HTTP history ready to go for my Burp Inception proxy. All I'm going to do is do a hard refresh on that OWASP Juice Shop. And we see all of our pretty lines going by of all the various requests being done. We can see the requests and responses that are in there, some specter attributes and things like that. But uh, if you notice, nothing happened over in the XF tool tab itself. That's because XF tool does a, like I said, a passive analysis of the requests that are being done, and it drops it right here under target. If you select the item and under the issues, you have metadata in a text file, and it gives a little parentheses XF tool. As we talked about in other extensions, if you go into the issue itself and it was discovered by an extension, there typically, if not always, has a little note saying this, this issue was generated by an extension. It gives that extension's name, in this case, XF Tool Scanner. For this one, there was a socket IO path. I loaded a text file that was a request from our OWASP juice shop and passively Burp noticed, hey, there's a file coming through. Let's try to extract any metadata, metadata we can out of it. And that's what we see here in the issue detail. There's nothing typically concerning or crazy in this one as an example. This is just showing that here are the attributes of that file and the values of those attributes. I think they're called tags when you talk about metadata, actually. So here are the tags and values of those tags. What you're looking for as a penetration tester, uh, what you're looking for as a developer, if you're trying this out as a developer or QA or anybody else, sometimes these files can have sensitive or additional information that can help an attacker. So if you're loading up a file that you created as a developer on your machine, sometimes that file might carry with it what the machine name was. It might carry with it who the author was, your name, possibly your email. Depending on the tool you use to create that file, it can jam a whole bunch of different metadata in there. So 
Wrap up, Exif tool is a great way to have a low system impact extension loaded by default, like I always have, to do passive analysis of files you're retrieving in the web application. Thanks, and uh, come back to see the other videos.